what is a minus b whole squared? Just like a plus b whole squared, this is also a well-known identity which equates to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. It is especially useful for finding squares of numbers quickly. For example, we can write 96 whole squared as 100 minus 4 whole squared. Using this identity, we get 100 squared minus 2 times 100 times 4 plus 4 squared. That is 10,000 minus 800 plus 16, which is 9,216. But where does this formula come from? Let's see. Thinking geometrically, the square of any number, say 3 squared, is the area of a square with side 3. The area of this square is 9 square units, which equals 3 squared. In the same way, a minus b whole squared is the area of a square with side a minus b. What is its area? Let's add a length of b units to the side of this square. So these total lengths become a minus b plus b, which is equal to a units. Now let's draw these lines. To find the area of this square, we need to subtract this L-shaped area from this big square. Its area is a times a, that is a squared, and this L shape can be thought of as made up of these two overlapping rectangles. Their longer sides measure A units and their shorter sides measure B units. So each has an area of A times B. So we get A squared minus 2AB. But wait, we subtracted this overlapping area twice. So we need to add it back once. Its area is B times B, that's B squared. So we can add it to get a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And that's our formula. There's another way to look at it. a minus b whole squared is actually a minus b times a minus b. To find the product of these brackets, we'll use the distributive property, which says that if a number is being multiplied by the difference of two numbers, then we multiply it by the two numbers separately and then subtract their products. For example, to find 5 times 6 minus 4, we'll first distribute 5 to 6 and then to 4. That's 30 minus 20 or 10. Similarly here, we can distribute the first bracket to A and then to B. Now again, we apply the distributive property to these two terms. Distribute A here to A and B and B here to this A and B. Finally, we get a squared minus ab minus ab and this minus times minus gives us plus. So we get plus b squared here. Combining these two like terms, we get our identity a minus b whole squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now can you use this identity to find the square of 998? Here's a hint. Write 998 as 1000 minus 2. Solve it and let us know in the comments.